Eric, we've seen a lot of now the science and the research and innovation going on here in Chagas in Moor Park. How do we make this information accessible to the average farmer and relevant to the average farmer? Yeah, so in, in TSSG, which is part of the Waterford Institute of Technology, we're working on a lot of research um, projects um, that are really about bringing um, products, our ICT-based products, directly to the farmer. So what do you mean by ICT? So ICT, I suppose it stands for Information Communication Technologies. So it can really mean from everything from, say, smartphone applications to, to sensors buried in the ground um, and, 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 and the data that is communicated from these sensors. But it re what, what, and what we're really looking for is, well, how can we convert that data into actionable insights um, that a farmer can use on a day-to-day -day basis to, 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 to make decisions that are really relate to his farm. Right, and for example, would you be testing things like soil and you know, carbon and exactly. all these issues? Exactly, so we, we have to really look at the whole supply chain. Um, and when we think about an agricultural supply chain, it goes all the way right back to the soil, the conditions of the soil, the nutrients in the soil. Because um, the soil is, 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 is the raw material that feeds the grass, which is the raw material that feeds the animals. Um, so again, we, we look at well, what, what's the chlorophyll content in the grass, what's the dry matter content of the grass. Because again, as I say, our animals are eating this, um, and, and it's the animals that are converting this into, in, in, into milk, which is what we want to export at the end of the day. Right, and would you also measure the cow itself and its performance? And yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we're building a lot of technologies that, that understand the, the movements of the animals. So we, from, from the movements of the animals, we can understand, we'll say, the behavior, and the eating habits, various different other attributes like that, that are all very um, important factors into how, how, the anim how well the animal is converting food into milk for us. Can you give me a simple example of how this works? Yeah, so, so dairy farming is really, been, one, or one, one of the big aspects of, of dairy farming is, is about grass or pasture management. Um, so some of our key technologies are all about enabling the farmer to manage his pastures more effectively and more efficiently. So what we're looking at is can we deploy sensors that measure the, the, the dry energy matter in, 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 in a pasture so that the farmer only needs to allocate as much feed that, that he needs to in order to, 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 to feed the animals to produce the optimum amount of milk um, fr from them. And why would farmers do this? Why is it important for farmers? Yeah, so in, in this age where we're moving to uh, really getting a, a, a mass increase in, in, in output or production output, we'll say, um, but also being very cognizant of farm safety, um, environmental issues, everything like that always has to be considered. So in order to be able to consider them correctly, you have to be able to measure them. So when we look about, there's a lot about, a lot about say, sensor technology that's been deployed in these in, in instances to capture this raw data. And then that raw data is, is converted back into information and then delivered straight to the farmer. Greenhouse gas emissions from the agricultural sector is 18 million tonnes per year, and we need to get that down dramatically. So how does the technology you're talking about enable the farmer to achieve this. And the technology stacks that we're building are all about measuring, how can we measure certain key factors and then take those measurements and then convert them into information which are converted into decisions that, so that the farmer can operate maybe at a, at, a, 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 at a slightly different way or make very minor changes to his processes going forward. Um, always with the, with the effect of how can he reduce water consumption, how can he say, reduce um, environmental impacts on, on his farm. So are we on a cusp now of a transition to a, a precision agriculture we, we, we certainly are and, and Ireland is, is all is set to really lead the charge on, a, on, a, on an agri-tech industry here and um, so what we're looking at is that we have a plethora of companies coming out all developing technologies in this space and these technologies are being sold on a worldwide market so Ireland is starting to get a name for itself as the really leaders in an ag-tech society